So if you've been following along, you know we had a video recently in which we were asking for help with um, getting a fire going. Well, we're nice and warm now. All of the advice helped. We did put in the extra coal that everybody was talking about. We got more kindling uh, down here. We've even got ourselves like some buckets and a nice little tipping box for our ash, tray, uh, ash pan. And, um, you know, we've tried out a few different coals and stuff, and we've kind of got ourselves to a point of relatively toasty warm. I can sit here and it's comfortable. People kept saying, oh, you've got to get this nice and hot. And we were like, why isn't it getting hot? And it turns out it's actually um, an insulated chimney, so it's got two skins, and that's why we couldn't get the heat up as high as we were thinking we were supposed to, because I can still touch that. It's not super warm. But on the inside, it's stoking hot, and that's what's keeping us, you know, actually going. But we did think, and we got some suggestions about the chimney, and we've had some problems, quite a large amount of problem, with tar coming out of the chimney. In fact, um, some of it has actually leaked down here and hardened. We've got um, goo coming down from above. We've got goo going down the side of the boat. And the way that our boat is designed, we only have one position on the boat where anything that gets on up here that's liquid is going to travel all the way down to just in front of where the engine is before going over the side. So we've actually got a trail of brown tar-like ick going from outside of the chimney all the way down the side of the boat and then, you know, coming off the side where we've got a weird brownish stain developing. So we didn't want that. Well, the solution to that problem basically comes down to having a double skin chimney and we wanted a double skin chimney, but we have a boat that has compromises in its design. <laughs> and um, there basically was no chimney that could fit. We have this wacky curve that was a problem when we were doing our solar panels, and we have up there on the other side um, a welded on pipe instead of a sort of more, there is no standard, but a more standard um, uh, collar, uh, like the type that you can buy in most of the marinas and everything. So we have a non-standard collar with a weird shape to it. Instead of being two parallel pipes with the flue being totally parallel to the outside, we've got them kind of offset to each other. We wanted a longer chimney to help with the draw because um, we only had a 12 inch sort of traveling chimney that's actually more like 10 inches. And our taller one was only about 14 inches. And really you want as much draw as possible. Um, so we went to all the different marinas and we were looking for like an 18 inch chimney. Um, again, we really wanted double skin, so we were only checking those ones. And we went to a bunch of marinas and a bunch of chandlers, and all we could find was stuff that wouldn't fit our collar. So we ultimately needed to get a bespoke chimney. And, uh, along the way, I got the name of a guy, Chris Smith, who, um, uh, was ready to come out and build us a bespoke chimney. And so that's what this video is about getting a bespoke chimney. If anybody wants a bespoke chimney, um, give me a message, send something along saying, hey, we'd really like to know his contact details and we'll put you in touch with Chris. And then that way you can get one too. We just had Chris uh, come out and build us a chimney. So that's our pre-existing chimney. It's the one we got, came with the boat. And uh, that's our new chimney. And um, as you can see, our old one is just a single piece of, well, I don't know, cardboard. And uh, our new one is a proper double skin stainless steel. Basically like a glove. In fact, Don't drop it. there we go. Fits like a glove. Double skin, stainless steel. Um, the 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 rain hat here is actually fixed on with um, some little screws that you can just pop it off if you want to. So it's it's not going to come off in the rain or in the wind. And the main thing is. It fits our curve. 
which has been the great big problem with our cheap little one. I mean, you know, they do have this nice little piece of hardware, which at some point maybe I'll try and install something, but, um, but at the end of the day, none of these would ever fit properly. So now we've got something that actually fits, it seals, it's got the interior, it won't leak, we won't have all of this brown crud running down the side of the boat. Yay. So basically he, he showed up this morning with two pieces of steel that had been rolled into cylinders. Uh, one of which was going to be the interior, which I didn't realize had to be conical in shape, which is quite interesting. Um, but it does make sense. But, uh, yeah. So he showed up with two pieces of steel and a, um, a, a lovely, um, little, uh, uh, sort of workshop in the back of a van. He had called me and had me take some measurements of the, the collar. And he showed up with two pieces of steel that he'd formed into cylinders, uh, clamped and ready to put it in place and do an initial test fitting. And then literally just walked back to his van where he has a generator and, um, and a bunch of equipment hooked up and, and just did a simple spot weld all the way up. And then, um, once he got this piece spot welded and, and brought it back and made sure it fit properly and everything, he took it back and spot welded the top. But at, he'd done just a couple of little tacks. Then he went and did the whole thing. Then he put this top piece in there through a thing called a swager and um, cold rolled to, to form this lip. Then he simply did the same thing again with the second piece of steel, which would become the interior of the uh, chimney, the, the inner sleeve, which is actually the bit that's doing the job of protecting us from condensation of crud and everything on the inside. Um, yeah, he'd already built this up separately, like that was something he'd assembled at some other point, so that was, it was just available. But, uh, you know, put the two together, hammered it into place, welded it again, carved down a little bit of excess that was there because he was trying to compensate for our strange, you know, connection down here. Um, and then attach the bits that the rain hat fits onto. Basically, all in all, it was like a couple of hours of work. The price was really good. And uh, we've got a perfect chimney that just, you know, I need to make sure that I don't drop it. Amigos. Today we're going to talk about the uh, burritos. Can you do the copy then? And the burritos. I talk it. And um, no, I'm gonna start over again. So if you were following along, then nope. What is bloopers you getting me? I'm blooping right up the blooper bloop. So here is the chimney building portion of the video. Can you do the club? I just, I have this image of Tyrion doing the whole little dance thing. I, that was such a great shot. Double skin. Bow thruster. Rainman's hat. Rain, Rainsman's hat. That the um, rain hat fits onto. <laughs> 